Let's see how to make this uh, sheet metal box in a simple six steps using Sodwark. As you can see, this part has many holes cut for ventilation, foul source plugs and a switch. We'll start with uh, the first step which is a uh, sketch a profile. For this part, we'll use uh, the sync open profile. We'll here start by uh, choose the metric system, in this case MEMGS, just come here down and choose MEMGS. Then I will go to the sketch. So in the sketch, I will choose uh, the plane. So what will be the front plane? Go to the sketch, front plane, sketch. We'll here remove this view origin, just come here and remove this view origin and uncheck the view origin, good. Now let's here go to the sketch and choose the line, the center line. Come here and the make a line will be vertical line. Okay, just like that, click, good. Now let's here again a line and make this sketch like that. Activate line in a horizontal, vertical and horizontal. And dimension here will be 80, here will be 50, and here will be 12. Good, now mirror entities, select mirror entities, and uh, come here, so of this three line, and then click there. So this sketch is complete, now sketch, uh, step two, activate base flange. Go to the sheet metal, activate the base flange, and, and here in the base flange, we need to make here some setting, and here will be 120. Just put here 120. And here I will use uh, the gauge table, just activate the gauge table and uh, I will here choose the steel, simple table steel, English, okay? And uh, so I will here go back and uh, so as you can see here the thickness is too big, right? Let's see here first go back and um, here choose mid plane and then I will go to the gauge, the, sh the sheet metal parameters and we'll here choose uh, another one, which is 18 gauge, which is uh, the thin one. Okay, good. So that's the one we want. It is so thin. Good. Now, let's here go ahead to the band allowance. I will keep the way it is, the key factors, so we won't change. Okay, um, uh, so will be the key factors. And in uh, the cut relief, the same thing, we'll use here the tier. We won't change to other one. So it is all uh, set up now. Come here, clicks, okay. Okay, so good. Now we are in condition to go to the step number three. Step number three will be make edge using the edge flange. So I'm gonna here use uh, the edge flange now and we'll here activate. Uh, before that, let's just here make sure that uh, we remove this uh, real view. Okay, so that's good. Now let's here continue with the, the edge flange and we'll make here the edges. So let's here make the edge and we'll go here make the first edge. So here in this case, just uh, make the position and in the here we'll keep out the virtual sharp and here as well we'll keep the material inside and we'll here we'll put 12. Come here, put 12. So that's what I want and uh, click OK. We'll go as well to the other side and we'll do the same thing. Activate the edge flange, select the edge, give direction and put here the dimension 12. The same thing here, I will keep the material inside and virtual. Go. Click OK. So we have this part done. Now let's here go to the step number four. So step number four will be ventilation space using the vent. So here we'll pay, uh, do that uh, ventilation so here on the back, sketch. Click here and then sketch. Okay, good. Now flip to normal. And here I will activate the center line first. Just put here one center line. Send a line from this this side like that. Okay, good. Now we make here four seco. The first seco. Click. Okay. Second seco. Third, and the fourth seco. Good. Now let's here make the dimension, and we'll here for this point that point, and here we'll put thirty, thirty millimeter. Okay, good. Now let's see the dimension. The first one would be 42. Second one would be 32. Third one, 22. And last one would be 12. Put here 12. So it is done. Now let's here make one line in a horizontal line like that. Okay, good. Now here we'll use uh, the circular pattern. Select the line and it goes to the center, will be the center two, 
okay that's one and he will be eight click okay so we have pretty much the sketch done now let's see here use the vent we here go to the sketch sheet metal vent okay so in the vent here we need here to select uh, our sketch this one here first okay good now here the ribs what is the rib so the rib will be the lines we'll hear the first the first rib second the third one and the fourth so the width is uh, too big we'll hear a uh, change to two so here is five i will put here two and it is better now let's here go to the spars same thing all this sequel inside we'll start with first sequel second sequel the third and the fourth and we'll here leave the two okay now let's here go to the fill fill boundary i will just here fill the last one the small one okay, that one click there okay good so it is all set up click okay and uh, so that's the one you can see here the hole right for the ventilation click okay now let's here go to the step number five step number five so will it be the cut for so here we're gonna have the cut for plug and the switch again come here and uh, sketch in uh, this uh, this part we'll just here coming here and then sketch here okay good now flip to normal and activate the center line here so that's the way it is and uh, we'll just here make uh, one center rectangle like that i will put second center rectangle like that and here i will as well uh, make the dimension so i will come here right and then put uh, 20 and here will put 14 and here will be 8 just put here right 8 okay good now let's here continue with the, our dimension and we'll need as well to dimension this line that point and it will be 20 okay good and uh, from the, this point to that center this point no make sure you select the right one this point that point and here will be 12 okay good and um, to this point to that point and here will be 20, 20 25 will be 25 no 30 so uh, it said 25 just here change 25 okay good now let's here continue and um will here need to as well to make it fully defined oh, and here to define that one so the distance between this point that point is 10 so you can see they are both fully defined and I will here just use um, uh, the chamfer for the first uh, rectangle. So just uh, make sure that it is not equal distance and here we'll put um, uh, six and here we'll put eight. Okay, now, um, so here four is better. Is it the first chamfer? So I think six, yeah, is better. It's first and second chamfer. As you can see, so it is also the done. Now, I need it here as well to go to the, put here, small sickle in this side and also, so this small sickle will be for, for the bolt to, to hold uh, the, the plugs there and as well the switch. So just come here right and then put two. Now need here as well to make the, the dimension and uh, before, the, uh, make the, before that, for that point, let's here first make relation. So with is horizontal and um, now make the dimension that point that point to the center will be let's put here 18 the good and here same thing we'll put uh, 18 and make here as well the relation the center to that center horizontal and so you can see they are fully defined now let's see here use mirror entities select both sequel uh, and the middle the center so I, I think I need here to reduce the distance we'll put here 16 okay good and here is well 16 so now we are in relation to to activate the cut it goes to the sheet metal and use the the extra to cut and here we'll just go through all or up to next I mean up to next and click OK so you can see it is also done now let's here go to the step number six the last steps so all using fill pattern so for that i need here to use the section view first i need here to you know um to use the section view come here 
and uh, not this position. So that position, okay, that's good. So all in here to remove the first part and then here hiding all the lines, so like that. Okay, good. Now let's here go to okay, like that. Okay, go to okay. Now all the sketch in this, uh, this part. Come here and then sketch right there and uh, all here flip to normal and activate the center line. Uh, in the first to activate the center line, just make sure that it is on, it's the line, okay, and um, so remove this, okay, make, activate, uh, let's here, make sure that the center line is activated, so, okay, I will just here go fast and here we'll put this uh, rectangle and uh, just put here dimension for that and make sure that it's 120, good. Now, um, we'll use here the fill pattern, so, uh, to use the fill pattern, you can uh, just, you know, if you don't see here, you can go to the features as well. The fill pattern and um, select the sketch. So here, we need to define the, the, the setting. So the setting, uh, the quantity of hull will depend on your setting. Okay, so, and uh, we need here to go to the create seed cut. So here, I will change to 1.5 diameter for the hull. Let's here put 1.5. Okay, good. And uh, let's go above, so you can see now we have 27 hole, so it is even less. I will here uh, choose um, um, this, the distance between the hole in horizontal will be 2.5, put here 2.5, okay, good. The distance between a uh, hole in a uh, vertical, right, which is here, will be as well 2.5. And uh, the distance from the edge to the rectangle I will keep 0 0.5 the way it is there, will not change. As you can see now, so we have 645, 645 holes, so right now. So that's the way it is. So the setting will uh, uh, dictate uh, how many holes you will have. Just come here, click OK. And um, you can see, so we have these, uh, you know, different holes. That way it is, and uh, this one completes uh, this part. And we'll here just remove the view section to have a complete, you know, view of uh, our sheet metal part. So that way it is, and uh, I hope you, you like it. And please don't forget to subscribe, share with a friend, and consider as well to watch these videos uh, here. And uh, let's see together in a. Uh, Last part. So here, just last part. I will here just uh, use the steel close and that just it. And uh, so see you to the next part. And please don't forget to subscribe, share with a friend, and consider as well to watch this video here. See you to the next one.